today I'm going to be talking about DNA fingerprinting at a crime scene. I've been binge watching Vampire Diaries in my free time this semester, and anyone who watches the show knows that it is normal for at least one person to die or get severely hurt in the episode. In my episode, Bonnie Bennett, a witch, gets hurt and is found lying in the woods. At the crime scene, there is blood found on a ring laying nearby Bonnie. The ring is taken as evidence and compared to the four suspects in DNA through DNA fingerprinting analysis. We take a closer look at two different loci of the evidence and compare it to the DNA of the suspects and the victim, Bonnie. When looking at one loci of the DNA sample found on the ring, there are two distinct fragments of DNA visible on the electrophoresis gel. In comparison to the loci of the DNA from the suspects and victim, it is clear that not all of the suspects have matching DNA fragments with the evidence. Bonnie, the victim, does not match either allele from the evidence, so she can be excluded from leaving the DNA evidence. Damon, a vampire, matches at both alleles of the DNA evidence, so he cannot be excluded from leaving the evidence at the scene. Tyler, a werewolf, does not have either allele in common with the evidence, so he can also be excluded from leaving the DNA. Elena has one matching allele and one non-matching allele with the evidence, but since she does not have both matching alleles, the evidence did not come from her, so she can be excluded from leaving it. Lastly, John, who is Elena's biological father, has both matching alleles from the DNA at the crime scene, so he cannot be excluded from being considered and leaving the evidence. We can tell that John is Elena's biological father because she shares one identical allele location with him. The reason that it is only one location shared is because half of Elena's DNA came from her mother, so the other allele site must be shared with Elena's mother. Out of all four suspects in the victim, it is clear that Damon and John are the two most likely suspects from leaving the DNA. In order to narrow the suspect list down even further, we must look at a second loci from the DNA evidence and compare it to the same four suspects. The alleles at this loci are arranged differently in both the evidence and in the suspects and victims, so we must look at each individual again when comparing. First, the victim, Bonnie, does not share an allele with either site from the evidence, so she can be excluded from leaving the evidence. Damon again has both alleles matching with the evidence from the crime scene, so he cannot be excluded in leaving the evidence. Tyler also has both alleles that match the evidence from the crime scene. However, at the last loci point, we already ruled Tyler out from being the right suspect since his alleles did not match at loci 1. Alina does not share an allele at either site with this evidence, so she is again excluded from leaving the evidence. John also does not share an allele at either site with the evidence, so he is also excluded from leaving it. This is lucky for him because he could have been guilty since at the last loci he had matching alleles. Again, we can see that Alina and John share one allele site, which is consistent with Alina being John's daughter, since Alina would have gotten the other allele that does not match John's from her mother. Overall, at the second loci, we can conclude that Damon was the suspect who left the DNA on the ring at the crime scene because he matched all the alleles at both loci, and we have solved the case.